Hey y'all, we're gonna look into this soft noise. It's something going on with the sign of Scorpio or the energy of Scorpio. I popped soft noise, which is a Scorpio now. Uh, it'll be in there for 18 months. I don't know how many months it's been so far, but I know it ain't been 18. Uh, and Pluto popped. That rules Scorpio. So it's something going on. We're gonna see what's up with the soft noise. Then we're gonna see what's up with Pluto in a later reading if I can get to it today. God willing. Let's see y'all what the fuck is going on. Let's pop from this first. I wanna dance tonight. I wanna talk tonight. I spend my money tonight. We can break it tonight. We can break it, yeah. What's wrong? America. You cool? Huh? I guess that means yes, honey. <laughs> My cat, she said, you know, she can't stand karmics. <laughs> she, she really do. <laughs> she be hearing me going off on these rings. After I get off, she be going off. Rah, 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 following me everywhere. Rah, rah, rah. What is it you need to say, honey? Honey, let's wish we could live our life today. Children should be able to be feeling safe like animals. They can go wherever they want to go. Pleasure. Like, girl, you know you're telling the truth. Honey. Got most things in the corner. I tell you that, baby. When you a kid, don't get some shit. Gross. <sighs> Darkness keeps coming up. <clears throat> If God don't want you to die, you're not going to die. You're going to go near death because he be busy. You're like, oh, how oh, no. Oh, how no. Some of y'all had near death experiences be ready to take it on about this motherfucker. Look at them. They went out. Ooh. They signify as darkness, girls. This is a sisterhood, Kansas. Ain't no sisterhood. It really ain't. Ain't no sunshine when they go. Only darkness every day. Ain't no sunshine when they go. And they always go to Longoria and left side. And they know, they know, they know, they know, they know, they know. Ain't no sisterhood. But ain't no sunshine when they go. <sighs> Only darkness every day. Protection. Exactly. You be just like this dead as a motherfucker. I done died so many times. Gotta be like, oh, girl. Girl. Oh, no. Do this. And you back here like, ah, damn. Almost had it. Almost had it. Nourishment. I think that's soul food. People need soul food. Original thoughts. They call it downloads, but you can say a, uh, a relevant word, I guess you can say. People ain't lying. Motherfuckers in the dark. Let me tell you something. Realization. Some people are light beings that are in the dark right now. And just now coming to the realization that they gave to too many people. Now they out of gas, they out of oil, they got they lamp barely working, candy shit. Like sound niggas. So people are looking for sunlight, not moonlight. It's a moon, look like cheese up there. But honey, they done put all them craters in the moon. They addicted to that bitch. Y'all might as well let them have it and just deal with the cycles, you know. But as far as gazing at the moon, honey, who about to do that? With their acidic ass eyes all over it every night and day. 
weird. How many moons are on Jupiter, honey? How many moons are on other planets, honey? <laughs> to one moon you see, wherever you at, girl, why? You know, where that motherfucker thing? It look like fucking, what is it, Swiss cheese? Honey, baby. Ricky Bobby. Man, it took over. That's why I stay in my magic. Even when the moon is void of course, I wouldn't give a fuck. Bitch, I bet you I have a candle lit. Honey, baby. Squeeze the juice out of orange you saying and leave you with nothing. Shit. Come and get your soul food. Well, well. Good old fashioned soul food. All right. If you're the type of person that can't use a condom, I would advise you not to have sex. I'm just telling you. It's, it's not the way it used to be, and HIV is rising. If you do not have condoms or you can't use them, do not I'll be out here raw dogging with these niggas, man. Please don't. On some pretty please shit. If you're a divine masculine, honey, you better strap it up two times for your motherfucking man. And is it worth it? Is it worth it? Let me work it. Yeah, I put my game down, flip it, and reverse it. <laughs> got a big stick, baby, let me work it. Yeah. Fair hard, high hard, you got to work it. Yeah. <laughs> Hell no. Pleasure protection. Okay? Growth, nourishment. People ready to grow and expand in consciousness. They cannot take dogma. They can't take plagiarism. They can't take voiceovers. They can't take none of that shit. And if you're going to use the Bible, please break it down because it's allegorical. Thank you. <laughs> we. It's ugly out here. It just is. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all magicians, but you should you should ain't coming like you know. This shit, honey baby, it's a gamble. Casino. <laughs> Is a state thing. They know what it hit for. These motherfuckers saying fuck the health department kind of shit. You supposed to be quarantined when you get that shit. Because you a murderer. If you going around ain't telling no motherfucking mommy. And just passing that shit out kind of shit. Sorrow from pleasure. You're going to get sorrow from pleasure. Sex. You hear me? ruin so that says to me that even if you strap up the person that you end up sleeping with gonna ruin your life i'm telling you that right now i'm telling you that right now because you ain't giving them no baby you hear me you ain't giving them no baby so what, what, what what's it gonna be you know what i'm saying and the next thing you know you go raw dog in it. Some of these motherfuckers got some shit that'll burn through the condo. I'm telling you. Got you worried and shit. Who wanna be dealing with that shit? Man, it ain't worth it. It just ain't no oh, fuck. It ain't nothing but some skin and a bone in it, honey. Go eat some chicken, honey. Go get you some good ganja and go get you some chicken, honey. Look at this. Darkness. Darkness. Baby mamas. Baby daddies. Coming to the realization. That y'all not about to let nobody be cruel to y'all motherfucking children. Y'all wouldn't give a fuck because let me tell you something. Baby daddies that's with bitches. Good fathers get up with bitches. Good mothers.
mothers end up with bitch ass niggas. The bitches and the bitch ass niggas knew they didn't have no business putting their hands on you based on the calling that they knew that you had on your life. These motherfuckers so trifling with it, but God is so majestic with it. He'll have them tell you what you was purposed to do in life, and you be done for God, carrying the shit. But it's just so they can feed off of you. They remember every little detail about you, like they love you. No. They trappers. Trying to get you trapped with a baby, so they can always have somewhere to come, always have somewhere to sleep, eat. Always be in your pockets in one way or another. For real. Most divine feminists and divine masculine that got children, they, them people was not supposed to touch y'all. They was not. You were out of their league. You just happened to be in their area. Okay? And the shit they do to children is fucking cruelty. It's child cruelty. It really is. Why are you pitting? Why are you pitting a child against the mother or the father that is the main provider? Why are you doing that when you know you cannot provide nothing? But then when a the motherfucker throw you up under the bus, you want to tell people you they bashing you. You know about the railroad, nobody like that, bitch. Who the fuck is you? You know how many motherfuckers out here got babies and handling that shit like adults? Meanwhile, the fuck? The botch. All they want is sex. That's what debauchery mostly is. Sex, drugs, alcohol, but mostly sex. And no, nothing to show for it. Trying to figure out how they go get more into some money magic through sex magic. Because most of these dudes is hit to their motherfucking ass. And the dudes that they left with ain't like being, so they can't produce shit but more darkness. They'll be if two karmics had a baby by each other, man, they'd be a cute each other, cute that baby, and everything else. Science in reverse. That says to me that they're not gonna give you the cure to AIDS. You just gonna have that shit and be on that medication for life. If you are not at a wealthier class to be able to afford the cure, because they got the cure. You hear me? Any of y'all got an original idea that ain't taking off? It's because of these hoes, man. And if they Scorpio karmics, baby, listen. A Scorpio's whole, one of their biggest things to conquer is revenge. How not to be vengeful. Every sign has something. The Scorpios, they have to learn how not to be vengeful. How to let God have vengefulness. Or how to, if you love somebody, don't sting, don't sting them. Don't do that. Now you got to go over into unconditional love. Which most people don't have. They just don't. Always limitations and shit. The hangman. America ain't coming for people like they think she used to. She can't afford to. It's also I got to keep on moving. Ain't gonna take my time. Ain't gonna hold me down. Oh no. I got to keep on moving. For real, they're going to be highly disappointed. People getting babies, they're going to be left for dead. I'm telling you because they own some trash. Why do you keep on having babies, especially if you come from slavery? 555-1555-1555. Most of Elijah Muhammad said that's when slavery started. If you're a descendant of a slave and you don't have any fucking money, why do you keep having babies? Then you're going to be disappointed. I'm telling you. Because some motherfuckers have. I've been saying that the government is going to go after people's wealth. Like say you have a baby daddy that ain't shit. He, he may come from decent people. 
they're going to take those decent people's money and give it to these babies. They, their grandchildren for real, which is only right to me because the sins of the father are passed down. So somebody is not doing the work on breaking generational curses. Why should somebody that is doing the work or is attempting to do it because they're coming into some realizations of what the fuck is going on outside and with individuals that they've been fucking with that ain't shit. I mean, why can't they get paid? They shouldn't have touched her. They shouldn't have touched him. Can the shit. Out of your league. So motherfuckers like that, you're going to be left to take care of it by yourself because some of them motherfuckers don't, didn't come from decent nothing. People ain't got shit. Generational curse of poverty. You can't get something from nothing. So who, who pocket is going to come out of yours? Especially if it was a man that told you he did not want it. It's going to be so bad that they're not going to be the one saying F the child. God is going to be subduing these men where they can't take care of them even if they want to. Just to teach the lesson on who the fuck you think you is and shit just because you can get pregnant and push out a baby. Yeah, that make you a God, but it don't make you the God. You don't have the ability to take a sperm and an egg, make it meet. Okay, now you create. But did you create the sperm that came out of that man? No, you created the man. Everything that came in that man, of that man, is from God Almighty, not a woman. You ain't shit but the storehouse. And how the world looking? A lot of motherfucking stores should be closed for good, indefinitely, kind of shit. Epic fucking failure. And they think this is a keep the party going candy shit. Keep the baby mama baby daddy shit going? Man, they should start put people in prison. It's not right. You making a child suffer. You don't have nothing. You assume that somebody else got something so that you can live off that child. You don't care about that child. If you've seen one baby grin, you've seen them all. Yeah, yeah, cute, but come on, man. Where the bread at? And that's what the baby's saying, candy shit. This is South Noy. Failure, man. They, they going down. Down. There's plenty of women that have multiple babies that really love the man. Ain't nothing wrong with that. If y'all struggling together to make sure they eat and them y'all babies ain't talking about that. Talking about don't have no plans to do shit. Looking in another motherfucking pocket. Whether you a woman or a man. If they trap you with a baby, they trap you with a baby. Yes, let's just get the moving straws and ice and honey and be real. So people are just blocking y'all platforms. Some of y'all supposed to be went viral. Those with an original thought. Not just stuck in theory kind of shit. If you got money, you can have a mini bank. You can take care of you. You ain't asking the government for nothing. Why can't you? You know what I'm saying? For real. You know what I tell you what to do with your vagina? If you got somebody to take care of, come out that motherfucker. But God damn. They already know. They spent their time on bar stools and in between legs and on their backs. And they got shit to show for it. Not even a wet ass no more, Jay. It's fucked up out here, baby. Like, damn. <laughs> For real. Men ain't playing. It's either time or money. If you ain't worth my time, or if you ain't worth my money, you better go get the fuck out of Dodge. Can and shit. They win options. Ain't no more just taking care of your ass. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
this one in the gold, six of swords this way. No justice, no peace. Six of swords is moving away from chaos. Six of swords sit still. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. To me, this would be Fab, just say Fab a karmic and his wife a karmic. They stuck with each other, but they don't want each other. Ask yourself why not? I've been asking in my whole life. Before I met a divine masculine. No weapon formed against me. You know what I'm saying? Shall prosper. It won't work. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. It won't work. They said that graveyard dirt won't work. You always like to go to stars, grave sites and shit. Who the fuck finds this shit, man? I don't even know. You know what I'm saying? They over here. They ain't even there. You just got a bunch of dirt, bitch. 30, 30. They ain't working together. They can come together, man. I'm too, they can come together in unification with the dummy shit to come against love. They failed. They disappointed. They busted. They corny. These motherfuckers, man. <laughs> Nikki, honey, baby. Victory over the enemy, over y'all enemies, putting y'all in homelessness, getting y'all car damn near repo to a repo, causing y'all towers. Y'all used to get money, y'all ain't getting shit. Y'all done become bums out in these streets. That's because that's their life. For real, they did shit during COVID. They waited till humanity was on the ropes. And play. That's not. That's not my fellow. Nothing. I don't know that bitch, and I don't know that nigga. It's a crisis. People was fucked up. You're gonna take that for a grand opportunity to come up off of your kids, kind of shit, or do shit to somebody because you know they're supposed to be together in the time you've had instead of being a graceful woman. And saying, I appreciate you giving me a piece of your life for as long as you gave it to me. Thanks for the time. Thanks for the child. Thanks for taking care of me. No, they don't do that. No, 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 no. Oh, no. It's a tag time. Y'all ain't ever met these hoes. Ain't shake a hand, shake a hand. Whatever happened to them? I'm dating somebody. You want to meet her? Yeah, I'm dating somebody. Yeah, I need to see who around the kid. We got to see. We got to talk. What y'all want to do? Dinner? You want to do that? Used to be a thing. I don't know what the fuck this is. I really don't. And they do need to get the fuck out of Dodge. For real. Get the fuck down south. Hell, bitch. Not Atlanta. Jay, don't start. Take off like, oh my God, the witchcraft in Atlanta, off the fucking, <laughs> off the fucking rails, bro. Off the fucking rails, bro. I told people, and I ain't know where I stay was worse than New Orleans. Oh, it fuck around, I'm gonna be next to that with Atlanta County shit. And guess what? Atlanta ain't shit but Cleveland. I moved to Atlanta, my brother kept taking me to Cleveland parties. Yeah, like, yeah, they got a brown body over here. Yeah, they gonna do a clean. I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, why don't you just move back home? I'm getting the fuck out of here. I ain't come here to come to Cleveland. I came here to come to fucking Atlanta. I'm getting the fuck out of here. I might as well go back. Because this all this shit is. Who the fuck go out of town just to go to the same town? What the fuck? I'm like, oh, hell no. You're, I'm out of this bitch. Three months, I was out of that bitch. I kept my salon so bitch. Oh, it was cool. Came right back like nothing ever happened, bitch. I ain't closed it for a reason, did I? Shit. Let me fuck up. 
roots. People don't like you touching them roots. My aunt told me that. She old southern, old school. No people don't like you touching them roots. I was looking at her like, I don't care. Because guess what? God don't care. When he get in me, ain't nothing I can do. Let me tell y'all something. We went to, we was in Georgia. We was in Macon. Me and my ex-husband. <laughs> y'all, we was in the nation. We was going to the mosque and everything, baby. Staying at my uncle's house, nigga. <laughs> we would sleep, honey. Next thing you know. It was like all the doors, all the windows. He got a big ass house. It seemed like everything, it seemed like the bed was outside. And a freight train was coming at us, goddamn, 80 miles per hour. It was hurricanes, tornadoes ripped through that bitch. I mean, through the the big ass where you pump your gas set, through them bitches up against it. I mean, fuck the shit up. Me and him cracking up. A long wag bar, crazy, me and him. Every time we, <laughs> every time we ran past some fucked up shit, we be seeing a long way, but like, man, what? God ain't no joke. Took that shit just like that, just like that. We woke up, headed. We all scrambling, looking around. What in the fuck? Windows busted, all this shit. I mean, tore it up. Just slid through, said it was three of them dancing. God ain't no joke. You think I care about a dumb witch, bitch? The baddest bitch. I want to give a fuck, bitch. You don't know God. Arguments, constant fighting, this baby mama, baby daddy shit. Get y'all some evil eye protection. Still, it ain't over, motherfuckers. Proof. Take off. Take off. Take off. I'm telling you, when they get in the ethers, they be wanting to see what's up. What all that shit people be saying be going on. Is it really true, candy shit? And I swear they make a stop through here just to see what the fuck I'm doing. Be like, what the fuck is it? <laughs> the, <laughs> the visit stop just to see candy shit? Or well, baby. Watch the hook. You think that shit is going to ease, just go away overnight? I don't think so. It's cosmic. They speak this shit all day in the kingdom. All day. Like, it's a job, man. This shit crazy. I do this for work, but I ain't doing that shit. You don't got to do that. Intent, set, conjure, done, boom. That's it. All that extra shit is because they extra as a motherfucker and they ain't God. And they've been doing so much of it. They be like this, trying to prevent the darkness from taking their motherfucking ass over. Bitch, how long you going to stay like that? You got to get up, girl. And deal with the fucking blood in the soil. These hoes literally, y'all know that card in the lights here, Tara, where she just she got her hands, her arms crossed. She say, "I'm over it." They're not over the fact that they killed multiple people. They're over the fact that they can't hit your ass. That's chaos magic. They can't hit their target. They keep hitting everything around them. They around the divine masculine when they say they family members and drop dead. They hear all that. Even the friend, any anybody they around, somebody died. They know they got a hand in it because they be in these rings and this old bullshit. Oh, hand in hand is we are the world. That's what I'm saying. They could get unified, uh, unified and shit like this. Practicing non-attachment is an ongoing process. I'm telling you, some men ain't gonna be able to take care of their babies because it's going to be, it's it's it's, it's too much. Especially if you already have them. And the court's going to be denying them. Or asking the, per the important questions. Did you want this child? No, Your Honor. I didn't. I told her. Blah, blah, blah. Is it true? That bitch can't say no. 
Because she's going to have to make up a story right there, right there. Some of them niggas got it recorded. They got to. You got to. I'll fuck you back to sleep ass niggas. I'll Chris Brown ass niggas. I'm just saying that. No. You got to. Also, you know I don't want no baby, right? Steli got recorded on the phone. You better. You better. For a, oh, want to be down ass bitch. Don't nobody care that you got multicolors in your hair? Eh? Do you got some mixed vegetables up in there, bitch? And it be just as like this. After they know they done killed up, they getting closer to you kind of shit. I'm telling y'all. They never thought that people would get hip to their bullshit. Money's supposed to be plentiful. Food, everything, everything. But when you're sneaking and scamming and shucking and ducking and, 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 and laughing when ain't shit funny and shucking and diving and bubble jangling all over the motherfucking place, bitch. It's children hungry, bitch, in a land of the free, home of the brave, bitch. It ain't never stopped being that. Mr. and Mrs. Braveheart killing innocent people with a candle, but say, oh, well, she's doing it's not real. And he said, you can't do that. You can't, you can't, you can't help transmute dark shadows and dark thoughts with a candle. Bitch, maybe you should have bought some instead of putting me in reverse, you cunt. Then you would be hearing crows all night, bitch. Other people wouldn't either. Because they crows trying to warn death is coming. They had it again, yo. Can you shit. They don't want no soul experience because their soul is lost. They don't want none. they rather keep you in this. Keep him like he in love. It's just bad, okay? It's just bad. They don't want to be like that. But guess what? They wouldn't be like that because they don't give a fuck about the divine masculine. All they want to do is light a candle to bring him back so he can keep getting money off the nigga. And try to trap him again with a baby. It's no new tricks. The devil ain't never had no new tricks. They know that. Why they won't go ahead and be with another Carmen? I don't know. I don't know. Out of their league? Absolutely. And my stomach hurt and showing up. Clear your space. Because I'm damn sure about to clear mine, honey. The stars. Coming after stars. Untethered souls. Been fucked up since they was kids. Now they just fucked up adults. For real. Fucked up when y'all met them. All they do is go back on the prom. And somebody else is a victim. It has to learn a lesson instead of getting a blessing. Because they refuse to take their own kind. You tell me. Why? They looking towards the sun. This me most of the time. You say what? People don't like what? Well, honey, they either gonna kill me or not. They ain't never got the time to be wrestling with angels or God, honey. And that's just the way it is. And clearly some of these children feel the same way. Wouldn't let their bitch cook them a fucking ramen noodle sandwich. No, thank you. I ate it already. And you know what really grinds their gears? My dad brought me something to eat, can she? And for the niggas, oh, my mom coming to get me and take me. Ugh, they don't like that. Feed them long enough, they gonna favor you. Just feed them. They're going to favor you after a while. You know why they say that? Favor you in looks and in 
dumb shit because the other parent is who they really when the genes is good, the other parent is really who they don't fuck if it's the mother or the father. They lean towards the better genes when they're divine in nature. But if you feed them, they'll start favoring you. Then, you know, we in there now. Yeah, this shit. I mean, this shit. Oh, shit. I'm talking so old. Maybe we want to pull up on a couple niggas and punch them square in the fucking eye. And in the mouth because they talk too much. Well, you can roll up if you want to. You can. You scared. You know you scared. For justice. Universal justice. It's a universal thing. Because they're coming after twin flames. They're trying to fuck with your stability. Always talking. That alone will fuck up your money. You don't have to. It used to be a time where as long as people were talking about you, you're like, shit, that's free advertisement. But now it's so vile and the slander is so crazy that, because it's all they got, it, it plummets your business whether you tell them what the fuck you're doing or not. And you don't even know who because you don't even kick it with nobody no more kind of shit. They going down, bro. Uh, Scorpio is in office. You hear me? For real. They have heads of state doing shit, making them look like perverts and shit. And then going to be, what the fuck is it doing? Putting, let me tell you something. Putting doubt in the people about their leadership is the same way as God feels when you put doubt in his creation about him. If you don't have anything good to say or intelligent or logical or solution oriented, why are you talking? Just bashing someone's father or son, can she? With no intention of helping to change the world one person at a time, starting with themselves, can she? You tell me what does it mean, ladies and gentlemen. Four of Pentacles come right back up on the phone. But instead of wands, you want some money. Because there wasn't nobody doing magic on nobody like these motherfucking hoes was doing that shit. Motherfucking like, ho, 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 whoa, you ain't tell me that part, can and shit. So if the divine masculine withheld information from you, it's because information was withheld from him. Never know what you don't ever tell the right hand what the left hand is doing. Can't see. Always want to use Bible verses for their degradation. They got some of y'all children so traumatized, divine masculine traumatized. Some of y'all are just resilient. You're traumatized, but some of y'all are good witches, alchemists, um. Empress energies, mothers, you know, you're just strong. You're just strong, you know? Can take a hit. So children and men can't. Some children in foster care, just letting go. They doing witchcraft, the bitches that got, they all a part of, I don't trust a social worker. I don't trust a foster bitch. I don't fucking trust nobody. Not when it comes to my son. And it's taking me a whole lot of weed and cigarettes to keep from pulling up. Bitch, I found out where it's at. Because I'll be a man reader then when it comes to mine. But no, I got to chill, man. Because I'll be in prison. These motherfuckers set different times and shit. So my son, they play games. I'm always getting sleepy when it's time for us to have our talks and shit. Or I miss the phone call. All oh, that shit, witchcraft, bitch. This is what I do. I know what it hit for. I know what you're doing because I got to combat it, you dumb bitch. The fuck? All you got to do is watch patterns. Why is that like this when it's like this? And they act like you will never pick up on it because they underestimate their opponent. You should never do that. You fuck up as soon as you do that. Because I ain't underestimate Nan, bitch. Or nigga. 
whatever color they is. Never have, never fucking will. Putting y'all in nervous breakdowns and shit. As soon as y'all nurses divine masculine back, he gonna get two wines and start building. Because he's a natural builder, some of them. Can't build any of that shit when a bitch got you oppressed and a bitch ass nigga somewhere helping her do it. Rings of these motherfuckers. And then you're going to collapse. Then he's going to have to take over here and then guess what's going to happen. Mommy's back. Let's cook. Let's clean. Let's do what women do naturally like a motherfucker. Oh, lying ass shit. Uncle James Brown done been making songs about these social workers and all this bullshit. For how long? She's a bad mother. Made her get up. Made her get up and get out. Made her get up and get out. She gonna be doing like she always was. Taking care of her children, man, and her motherfucking business. What the fuck you talking, bitch? They been having to address this shit in the black community. Because niggas want to call on black people, but they don't wear a Black Lives Matter shirt. Soon as they hang up their motherfucking phone, these old trifling ass hoes. Bitch, when my life matter to you, bitch? Knock it off. Because if you can sleep at night because your baby laying next to you, but you don't give a fuck about where man laying and how he feel or how I'm feeling as a mother, bitch, we ain't sisters. We ain't shit. You my enemy, and that's it. The fuck? Yeah, learn a lesson in self-love. And who not to fuck with? Does God come fucking with me? Oh, best believe, bitch. You catching a tower like a motherfucker. Because I don't be bothering nobody. Not even God. My ancestors have a place to stay. And be at peace. I'm not conjuring shit up. They don't want to be conjured. They have their own souls. They have their own everything. What the fuck? If they start feeling you pulling on them, bitch, you're doing too much. For real. Yeah, I, I, I advise you to get unhostile, bitch, or bitch-ass nigga. However you want it. Because there ain't none of, nobody done pull up yet. You don't have nothing to convict. You a convict, but you have no convictions. What kind of shit is that? You don't have a leg to stand on. You're weird. Face it. I will tell you, get a candle, but your business ain't no good here, bitch. Yeah, hang up with him, bitch. Hang up with him. Pleasure principal ass motherfuckers. Can't get enough. Some of the all divine masculine children cannot wait to get a real mother. Kind of shit. For real. This shit real. This ain't no goddamn reality TV. This shit is real. Learn how to navigate in this new age of Aquarius. Justice. Biracial people or people, white people that are dating black people, black people that are dating white people, white people, you're going to have to check your people. That's it. Black people accept everybody. They say, can't use their comb, don't bring her home. That's a karmic stupid bitch. Most black people ain't going to hurt a fly. When you come in their house and they feed you or whatever, they got some scissors in their head, they ain't going to poison you, they do nothing. You cool with anything, be a little bit too much of service, can you shit? Me, on the other hand, the plate's in there, get you a fork, can you shit? You got to start checking your people. They don't know, they fucked up. All they know is racism. They see it, they don't know shit else. Crazy, stay clear of this energy. Stanky ass feet. They feet stank. The karmic men, vile. Keep away from your children. Vile. Keep away from your children. 
stinky feet, masculine energies. When they feet stink, get the fuck out of Dodge. A grown man should know how to control his foot over. Why I say keep them away from your children? Because they be doing anything and everything in front of your fucking children. And the next thing you know, they setting the stage for them to come in and join. Like the bitch ass nigga did with my fucking son. Having a bitch twerk on him. In front of my son. What are you setting up, you weird bitch? My son ain't never seen me twerk on no motherfucking man in a living room and dining room can shit. That's what doors is for. That's what bedrooms is for. And they ain't having no niggas in and out of here like fucking Grand Rapids Station either. My son remember one man and that's it. Bitch. And he's about to be 11. Come on. Yeah, I think you better let it go. But they, they stuck. They don't know nothing else. This is all they got. And where I'm from, baby, when some shit starts to trend in honey, they're going to jump on that shit like it's goddamn bacon, okay? But let me tell you something, honey. You can't just jump in and out of voodoo, especially not the dark kind, bitch. You're going to be trying to do shit, do it. I mean, you're going to be out of your fucking mind. And all the motherfucking ancestors and the entities and the energies you was conjuring gonna want their motherfucking bread. Where it at? Mr. and Mrs. DeBodge. Mr. and Mrs. Let's go to Mr. Childs and act like we got money we don't have. Mr. and Mrs. Let's go to Neiman Marcus to get the big red bright shoes because we clowns and Ronald McDonald's out here in these streets. And they just want to see how far these motherfuckers will go. That far, they sure will. Y'all, oh, and ain't nothing worse than on the unseen reality, baby. You tampering with some shit. You, hey, hey listen. God, God said, forget the babies and fools this time, honey. You got enough to take care of. Fools is on their own. I told you, God leaves you to your devils. Want to die, but can't die. But you're killing like beings. Now you want to die, but can't die. So you back to the magic again. Paying somebody again. That's how it goes. It's a trap. Since you want to trap people. Since you want to think everybody's lying. I don't know who I'm talking to. I ain't talking to nobody. And blase, blase. The big black motherfuckers be in people. You want that motherfucker touching you when you're in your right mind? I don't fucking think so. I don't give a fuck if he was a man and you was a woman. Once you have one of these motherfuckers, baby, you can smell them. You can smell the feet through the shoes, okay? And no thank you. No scrubs. You ain't no nurse. Hermit Energies. Man, y'all business, Canada. Yeah, accept the truth about you, bitch. That life goes on without you. Walk in the wilderness, go to the bar, do more witchcraft, be a burden to your mama. Do whatever the fuck you've been doing, bitch. Don't like me? I don't care. You're my enemy. Why would I care? You're trying to kill me? You separate me from my child? You do this to other people? Care for what? This is how they want to get you when you're empathetic. I have none. No sympathy and they ain't feeling shit. No pain. No pain. No pain. I'm just telling y'all. This is a South Noy and Scorpio. Y'all have a Scorpio president in the White House. Do you think he's going to lay down in his grave without getting vindication? Even if it's for his own children that they did dogmatic. Hear me, this is real life. It's not make believe. If you're feeling the vibe, please like, share, and subscribe. Love and light.